when the cobble clubs uh, so there was a chaos and there was conflict and uh, we were worried and uh, what's going to happen to our team members that they are were in Afghanistan and then we contacted with the Qatari governments and uh, with excellency and they they um, they says yes we would we would love to help your teams and that's how they send the plane and then the team get evacuated and they safely arrive in Qatar. I think that is, uh, Qatar is a very safe place. It's a uh, close to our culture and uh, I think that they have the best uh, environment, especially in education city, that they can um, continue their education and uh, grow their success. We have more than 27 million young generation in Afghanistan that they're living under 25. And they want to have uh, greater access uh, to inclusion and uh, be access uh, to opportunities. We have had 20 students in Qatar which they had amazing support uh, by the scholarship and uh, pr provided by Qatari governments and these students did amazing. Some of them went to already you know, in, in university in a state and they are studying their um, engineering schools there and education for the girls should be the priority not only for the countries but also for the region and international uh, communities that they have to wait uh, to working and fighting for the rights of the millions of the girls who are outside of the schools. And in Afghanistan, there are millions that today, they are living in darkness. They cannot go to the schools, they cannot go to university, they can, unfortunately, they don't have uh, any access to justice, to the health, and uh, even they cannot work. So I think that we all should have, we have a responsibility for, for those women there, and we have to be a voice for them, and making sure that they not be forgotten.